Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania TV. No way! What? All right, we are back with the Leopard 2A7, yes. an all-new main battle tank designed by Cody OSL. All-new main battle tank. You designed it? I did. When did this, when did this tank debut? Debuted. So this, this variant, the Leopard 2A7, yes. uh, was on the scene in 2014. Oh. So it's, it's basically just an up-armored version of the 2A6. So the Leopard 2 has been, uh, it was developed in the late 70s, and Leopard 2 looks a lot like a tiger. It does. German tiger tank. Go figure. Go figure a German tank. A modern German tank is reminiscent of an older tank. But they made some changes. They did. They made right? a lot of changes. Some additions. Uh, yeah, so they, uh, they have a new modular armor. So if the armor gets damaged around, they can replace pretty much any part of it. And it, uh, it's a composite armor that's supposed to give you better 360 degree protection against RPGs. So the 2A7 is meant for um, urban combat, All right. or it's intended more for urban combat. Um, so yeah, better protection against shoulder right. and stuff when you're... When there's people exactly where you want to have a tank. tank is in a confined area. Yeah, exactly. So... No. What? No. What? no. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> you, do you do? What? what? So, the Leopard 2A7, there are... Uh, I saw some short barrel versions mm -hmm. and some long barrel versions. It's a 120mm uh, main gun, and I believe it's... Uh, the same gun as what's in the Abrams. Abrams has a German gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, there's a 7.62 coaxial machine gun uh, right next to it here. So the turret looks a little goofy. Um, it looks kind of almost lopsided if you look at it from a uh, top-down view. And that's because, because the turret is like two, the real turret, this right. is a fake turret. It's a fake turret. No, the real turret's like about a couple feet back. Yes. Um, the mantlet is the, the original right mantlet. here. Yep. So it kind of protrudes. This is all just additional angled armor wow. and uh, extended bustle on the back. So it gives that weird uh, angular. Right. I mean, you can really it. see it when you when you uh, move this turret. How just far back it it, it pivots right there. Yeah. So the gun uh, has about 20 degrees of elevation. That's and probably a little bit more nine. than it would be able to. Yeah. And about minus nine uh, for depression. Uh, crew four has a 1500 horsepower turbo diesel engine. Turbo diesel. Turbo diesel. And yeah, so yeah, onto the kit itself. Oh, yeah, the kit. What? So any any new challenges, new techniques? Um, not a lot new. Uh, mostly just recycled techniques. Cool. It's kind of a similar build to what I did in the uh, Abrams. Yeah, in, in what way? That's, in, that's interesting. So in I uh, I did studs forward on the bottom. That's in order to get the wheel spacing correct. Yes. Um, and it actually has the uh, same camouflage on the bottom. Kind of a bonus. Ooh. Get the all around camouflage. <laughs> Think there's someone actually going underneath this thing and hand painting that? No, I doubt okay. that. <laughs> My version has the uh, underpainted camel. There we go. <laughs> so better than the real life thing. Better, there we so go. Much better. Yeah, brick built camouflage um, has a printed iron cross one on each side of the turret. Yep. And I think it's pretty much it for printing except the figure. We'll um, go over that in a little bit. We'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, has an MG3 um, as the secondary. Weapon. Right, but that is the loader. But that's actually the, the 42. 42. Yeah. Um, they look very similar. They, they do. They look almost identical. <laughs> so yeah, why improve on what works, really? Yeah. Um, so we have a hatch for the loader. You can just pop right in there. And we also have a hatch for the commander. And this hatch, you might want to set it down for this. Okay, sure. So this hatch, in order to open all the way, because in the real one, it, it opens more at an angle to the side. So I developed a function where you can twist it. Ooh. And then that closes all the way. That's cool. And that's a, that's a newer piece that you're using for that, right? Oh, uh, fairly new. It's been around for a couple of years. Okay. Um, I guess you don't see it quite as, kind of, yeah. It's not quite as in yeah. circulation as some other pieces. Got some extra storage you can put. I think uh, you said you can put an M&M &M in there. <laughs> uh, 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 you chocolate fit candy. One M &M chocolate M &M. candy. You can fit the chocolate candy. <laughs> are you worried about the copyright infringing on M and M? You are. What? I did. <laughs> you said before this episode. Hey, I'm really worried about. 
copyright infringing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, just before we go into this episode, I just want to cut you off. No Eminem references at all. Yeah. Um, so we have cool stickers I po- I po- on the back. No, I'm sorry, I poked that in. That's fine. I okay. Did. Um, so we have cool stickers on the back for the mud flaps. Yep. And uh, Slam, our resident uh, graphic artist, made these stickers, and he uh, learned me a thing. Oh, well, taught me something. Did he now? So you can uh, fold those up. Yeah. In real life, so you can either have those reflectors showing or not showing. Um, so if you're in combat, you obviously don't want reflectors on the back of your vehicle. Right, so when you get shot at, you you do like, time out, time, time out, out, and you <laughs> climb out and... Yeah, fold those up so you, <laughs> you can't, can't show, have your reflector showing. There's also stickers on the back uh, for those fans, and that uh, he made that transition into the yeah. time scheme a little bit. So that's I mean, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It spins all the way around. It's really just a solid tank. Yeah, you were saying you can, um, you can, you know, I mean, you can look at it. You can thoroughly push down on yeah, this. Yeah, it's, it's not going to break. <laughs> you know, it's you, a you solid really, tank. You really have to work. To, that's to and that's, that's what's it's cool about a lot of these kits. Break. Like we, that's we, you guys strive to create just not only cool looking models, but you, you try and go for some solid builds too. Some solid playability. Yeah. yeah. Rolls, right? Yeah. So you roll it around. I think. Uh, look at that. Is. Goes backwards really well. <laughs> Goes backwards super well. So that's that's really hard to accomplish when you have a um, a skirt built into it. Yeah. Because that wraps around the track and sometimes it wants to bind yeah. and catch on there. But There's a lot of friction points that are created with an overhanging mm-hmm. pieces like that. A ton of friction points. So uh, it works. Um, pretty much all of our tanks work on the carpet or cloth or something yeah. like that. Or paper. <laughs> Physical paper put on paper and roll it. Right. Cool. Um, what else about the tank? Oh, so on the side here, I got a couple opening doors. Um, one is, it's either the auxiliary power or just a servo motor. I'm not yeah. exactly sure what goes there, and then a filter. Um, so some cool functioning little playability doors there. And yeah, comes with one figure. Yes. That's, so. Uh, that's Ziegelman. Ziegelman. <laughs> On the Abrams we had Brickman. Yep. Brickman and Brickman. The translation is uh, Ziegelman. Yeah. M-A-N-N. Our version of the translation. There we go. So he has a little name badge there. It's 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 kind of hard to make out, but I assure you that it is there. Yep. It's there. <laughs> um, left and right arm printing with the uh, the German flag. Uh, it's very iconic. This so this is just a fleck tarn pattern um, parka, uh, and that would I mean you see that it's very very common. You see it all over the place. Uh, one of my biggest challenges working with this figure is uh, actually working with the Lego colors. Um, we were trying it on um, dark green and in, compared to the real life version that might be a little bit on the dark side so to, to account for that dark side. I, the dark side <laughs> to account for that I, I uh, bumped up the colors on the on the other colors so just we're trying out different things here um, seeing what works I, I'm pretty happy with them um, it it's a great. fun camo to work with yeah he matches his tank so yeah, he matches the tank um, yeah maybe in the future we'll try out different different uh, Maybe we'll try it on all of it at some point, but yeah. So he's he's got the cool uh, visor printing. That's, yes, that's a so green those, visor. Yeah, those are uh, goggles actually. Goggles. So maybe this guy he's sticking his head out of the tank to scout out stuff or something. Um, he, uh, those are yeah some issue goggles that I, I saw on some pictures of German forces. So a little bit of a green tint to them. Mm-hmm. And then helmet and headset by Minifig Cat. Yeah, that's the, that's the figure we're 360 doing, printing. We're doing that a lot. And this guy's also standalone, right? Yeah. No, he's not. He's not, not standalone. St- not standalone. Oh, that's right. That's the Russian guy. guy. Yeah, the Russian guy's standalone. Guy standalone. The yeah. British guy's standalone. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We we'll couldn't find yet. enough dark green right now. Maybe we've got to build up our reserves and we'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this another thing to note is that the print guys did a really amazing job, even just printing this camouflage. Um, one of the biggest problems you run into with printing on darker color um, Lego is you really have to print, put a lot of ink down um, in order to get it to show up. And um, so it's a, it's a really fine balance and there's a bit of color mixing going on, some, some wizardry in the print shop, um, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's pretty smooth actually. Normally when you put more ink down, it kind of gets, it actually creates a bit of a raised texture, which is cool on some things, like ammo pouches, it'd be cool if you could put down um, Texture. We did that on a um, gun previously on the U World War II Sergeant. But when you're doing like fabrics on camouflage, you're really trying to minimize that because um, you want it to look like it's part of the fabric. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's all I got for Very the figure. Cool. Very cool. Thing. Thank you. Um, one thing to note. I think uh, 
the 2A7 or the 2A7 Plus would also sometimes include a 12.7 um, millimeter machine gun mounted on a remote turret. Okay, yeah. Um, so that's something you can add in. It's, re it's really similar to uh, like what I did on the T90. Yeah, so reverse engineer that. Mm -hmm. Cool, thank you very much, Cody, for, uh, for uh, talking about your tank. For sure. And I will see you down the road, and I will see you down the road as well. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Yes, awesome. <laughs> Ding.